all right, gonna do a video going through four of some of the some of my personal favorite and what I think are some of the best cartoons of the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad. And just like Elijah mocked the false prophets of Baal, I'm gonna show these cartoons as a way to essentially poke fun at the false religion of Islam and its false prophet Muhammad. Plain and simple. And I'm not saying I endorse the artists of these cartoons because I don't really know what their views are. I could disagree with them. They could be atheists, you never know. So the artist itself, they could have problems, but the cartoon itself is what I'm showing in this video and saying good things about. Because these cartoons are very accurate. And this is also gonna be a part two to my other video I did showing these Muhammad cartoons. So here's the first cartoon. You have uh, Muhammad with, a, with him saying, you can't draw me. And then the, the hand with the pencil saying, that's why I draw you. Because that is the thing, that, that's how free speech operates. That's how freedom of expression operates. And you see the one thing that atheist communism, which by the way, communism is atheism, I'll just throw it out there. Uh, communism, atheism, Hinduism, uh, Judaism, and Islam, and also uh, Jesuit Roman Catholicism all have in common, is a disdain for freedom of speech. That's the thing. And he's saying, you can't draw me to hand saying that's why I am, because that is how freedom of speech operates. Plain and simple. Here is the next cartoon. This time, this is a historically accurate one too, where Muhammad's with his little child bride, because Muhammad was a total pervert, plain and simple. And the false religion of Islam, uh, essentially the foundation of the false religion of Islam was a uh, child predatory pervert. Plain and simple, and this cartoon perfectly historic is historically accurate and sums up the fact. And by the way, it's not just you know, oh, you're just being hateful. Muslim scholars themselves openly admit that Muhammad had a child bride, and even the hadith itself has like uh, numerous hadiths, uh, passages in the hadith that talk about Muhammad's child bride. So this cartoon is actually just uh, depicting what the hadith even says about their perverted false prophet. Here's the, the other cartoon, a bit of a different variation to the one I showed in my other video, of you have Muhammad with his head with a bomb. And I, I use this kind of analogy as, of the fact that Muhammad had murder in his heart and his little devil-filled brain was essentially, that was what was going on. Is you want to go uh, murder, uh, you know, steal, rob, all that other stuff. So this cartoon perfectly sums that up as well. His, uh, busy, uh, terroristic head, I'll put it that way. And uh, Proverbs 8.36, where God says, you know, all that hate me love death, that's Muhammad. He's, he's uh, covered in that passage there. Here's the final cartoon. It says, uh, cry baby Muhammad says, stop it, you're hurting my feelings. Because that's the thing too. M uh, Muslims, you know, a lot of these Muslims seem to almost lift Muhammad up as, as if he's divine while denying, oh, we don't worship Muhammad. But if you say something about Muhammad, you're blaspheming him. You know, last time I checked, you can only blaspheme a deity. I didn't know you could blaspheme a person. But whenever you would blaspheme Muhammad, they would go berserk and essentially try to cut your head off and send you death threats and everything else. And you live, had to live under constant threat. Uh, this your, your life is under constant threat. Just for drawing a little picture of their false uh, child, you know, child predatory uh, false prophet. Plain and simple. Their child predatory false prophet, I'll put it that way. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, like I said, you know, in 1 Kings 18, Elijah mocked the prophets of Baal, and Muhammad was in fact a prophet of a modern day form of Baal worship known as Islam. It's plain and simple, so I'm just doing the same thing. And again, not saying I endorse these artists, uh, I, I don't know anything about them, I don't, don't know what their views are, but the artists themselves are not really regarded, it's the cartoons that they were that uh, were made that I'm saying good things about and saying how these cartoons do accurately depict the false prophet Muhammad, regardless of, of the views of the of the artists of these cartoons. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Uh, Islam was a false religion, Muhammad was a false prophet, plain and simple. And don't be deceived by this modern day form of Baal worship known as Islam. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.